Hi there. Welcome to Happy Chips YouTube channel. I am Amber Jain and today we will learn how to install this app on Mac using Homebrew which is also popularly known as simply Brew. But before we get started, let me answer some frequently asked questions first. To start with, what does a package manager like Homebrew does? Well, a package manager lets you install, uninstall or repair apps on your Mac. A package manager is very similar to App Store on macOS or Microsoft Store on Windows operating systems. Except that a package manager uses commands that you type on Mac terminal to install or uninstall different programs. Some of the popular package managers for Mac include Homebrew, Nix and Macports. And if you are coming from a Linux background, you will feel at home with Homebrew, especially if you have used package managers like APT, Pacman, Yum, etc. on Linux-based operating systems. Next up, is it safe to install the Mac apps via Homebrew? Short answer, yes. In fact, Homebrew is the most popular and thus most widely used package manager on macOS. Moreover, Homebrew is a non-profit member of Software Freedom Conservancy Foundation, also known as SFC Foundation. Many other open source projects like Git, Busybox, Samba, Wine are all part of this Software Freedom Conservancy organization. Also, you might be surprised to know that Homebrew is the most forked project on GitHub and it has the largest number of contributors on its GitHub repository. Many devs at organizations like Google, Apple, Dropbox, Stripe, etc. use Homebrew to set up different development environments on their MacBooks and iMacs. Next question. Can you use Homebrew to install programs on Apple Silicon or more popularly known as M1 MacBooks? Again, yes. Starting version 3.0 of Brew, Apple Silicon is now supported on Homebrew. In fact, Homebrew also supports programs that are at the moment only supported via Rosetta 2 on Apple Silicon. Now that I have answered your questions on safety and compatibility of Homebrew, let's get to the installation process. Before we can install anything using Brew, we need to install the package manager itself that is Homebrew on your Mac. So let's see now how can we install Brew on Mac. Let me open my Mac here. First, you need to press command and space on your keyboard. This will open spotlight search on your Mac. And then you have to type terminal.app. You will see this terminal app. Simply double click on it to open terminal. Let me maximize this terminal window. Now we need to copy paste the command to install homebrew from the brew website. So open your web browser and simply go to the website brew.sh. Once you are on the website, you will see this section called install homebrew which has a command that you can simply copy by clicking on this button over here. Once it is copied, you have to go back to terminal, right click, paste. Now that the command is copy paste over onto this terminal, press enter. This will start brew installation. Now it is prompting me to enter my user's password on Mac. I am going to type the password now, but it won't be visible on your terminal. Once you have entered the password, simply press enter. And if the password is correct, the script will continue. Now it is saying press return to continue the installation. I'll press enter here. And this will start the installation of Homebrew on my Mac. Let's wait for this to finish. As this message here says, installation successful. So that's it. Brew is successfully installed on your Mac now. Now before we proceed, I would like to highlight that Brew collects anonymous usage data via Google Analytics. 
as you can see on this page if you want to opt out you can simply run this command brew analytics off and press enter which simply disables the anonymous usage data collection on your mac now let's update the package database locally by pulling the metadata of the latest packages on a local map from the central view repository this should typically take less than a minute to complete depending on your internet connection speed to do so simply type the command brew update and press enter as you can see my local brew database is already up to date because i just installed brew on my system now to install the app let's run the brew install command mind you if during installation if you are prompted to enter a password enter your mac user's password to continue That's it, the installation was successful. If this video was useful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you faced any problems during the installation in this video, please leave a comment below and somebody from Apichip team will reply back to you. If in future any app installed using Brew stops working, then you can simply reinstall it using the command brew space reinstall space the name of the program for example i'll try to reinstall the, this program called hello which is already installed on my system as you can see it is downloading the program and it says reinstalling hello and now hello is successfully installed and if you want to uninstall any app installed using brew simply run brew space uninstall space the name of the program in this case i will try to uninstall the program hello which is already installed on my system as you can see within a few seconds it says the program is successfully uninstalled also over time brew might end up consuming disk space on your mac as it keeps installers of the programs that you had installed on your hard disk in a cache directory so you can use the brew space cleanup command once every 6 to 12 months to free up some space on your Mac. This command removes app installers and older versions of the packages only. It would not uninstall any of the apps that you have installed. As you can see, brew cleanup was successfully run on my system. So do subscribe to our channel as we have tutorials for installation of over 9000 programs on Mac which will come handy. If you need to install other apps on Mac in future, chances are that we have got it covered already.